can go to my producers and say, you're not to call anybody whose lead score is below 80 because they're still kicking the tires, but everybody who's 80 or above is basically sitting next to the phone waiting for us to call them. If you don't have data, then this is the way that that you're calling is going on the X date and and building out that that content relationship. Which is also which is also why to me it, it's a win if you don't get the appointment. Whether you're doing a marketing drop or a cold call on the phone, it's still a win if you confirm name and email address because you have to have that to get them into the marketing machine. Once you That's get right. them in, once you get them into the CRM, I'm chasing them everywhere, right? Yep. I, I, I see everywhere they go on the internet at that point, at least as long as it's my stuff, all my social, all of my uh, website yep. stuff, everything. It all pings back. Yep. And then so we're incrementally giving these people lead scores based off of they get points for different activities. So, for example, if somebody downloads an attachment to a landing page that they went to, they've gotten a point for opening the email, two points for clicking through, five points for downloading the collateral. If they ever at one time go and click on the pricing button at the top of my page, they automatically get 25 points. So I can go to my producers and say, you're not to call anybody whose lead score is below 80 because they're still kicking the tires, but everybody who's 80 or above is basically sitting next to the phone waiting for us to call them. <laughs>